Hello and welcome. My name is Carl. I'm Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango. Today I've managed to get out outdoors into the sunshine. I'm here up in the Peak District, not far from a place called Buxton. And uh, today I've got a few hours to play radio. So I brought with me the DX Commander Expedition version. I'm part way through building the antenna. I have had very, I've had uh, very little time at home to actually complete the build, so I thought I'd bring with me the antenna as it is. I brought some wire, some wire cutters, some tape measure, so I can finish off building it while I'm out here and testing it out in the open. So I brought with me this is the DX Commander Expedition version, and with it in here I've got a bunch of radios that I've made up. Uh, I do need to make some more more radios up if, to want, if I want to get onto 40 meters. Uh, but with me a some box of the uh, connectors and and, and what, what not. I've got the uh, soda beams uh, wire there. Uh, I brought uh, crimp connectors, um, crimp cutters, the uh, tape measure in there somewhere. And yeah, I've got a bunch of radials pre-made up, not soldered yet. When I get when I get home, I'm going to solder all these up. But at least getting a here today allows me to get some wire up in the air and uh, just start cutting some of the radiating wires and testing that out a little bit. So <clears throat> over the past two and a half, three weeks, we've had uh, pretty much continuous rain. Uh, in the UK around the Midlands so it's been really difficult to get outdoors it's been really difficult to get outdoors and actually just have some decent time on the on the air um, plus uh, plus I've been really busy as well at work so finding the time during during the trying to find the time to get out to play radio has been really challenging just lately but uh, I've got I've got two or three hours today I brought with me a flask of tea. I brought with me. I brought a, a ration pack uh, for lunch and and uh, some radio stuff. So happy days. Right, seven point eight meters. Right, I'm going for the, uh, on the DX Commander Ultra version, I'm going for, try and build a 5 eighths wave, uh, which it says on the instructions, it's 6.7 meters plus a 1.1 meter fold back. So I wonder if that's a linear load, if it means linear loaded. So when you add the 1.1 meters to the 6.7, when you fall back the 1.1 meters from the, it's 7.8 meters. So in total, the total length is 7.8 meters, but with a 1.1 meter fall back. Where, I'm just trying to work out, does the fall back mean that it just goes up to the spreader and falls back with a gap? Or does it go to the spreader, right to the top and actually come down close together? when it comes down close together then then the 1.1 meters some of that will be taken from the whole length so i'll bring the wire uh, attach it to the radiating plate bring it up to the top the, the top spreader bring it down tape it just so that i can temporarily get a fold back get the analyzer on it and then make adjustments to that so I've got the, got the uh, two meter radio gun in the car um, and then just keep adjusting that fall back until I can actually get the SWR within the phone portion of 10 meters. So yeah, I'll get it up in the air and just keep adjusting it until it works. Oh, we'll do that. I know that um, electrically soldering that in will give a much better connection but just to get me through today just having a good solid crimp on that i think will get me through the day right this is a two whiskey zero in the x-ray mark 
Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. I hope that was correct, sir. Um, no, this end is David. Happy to repeat the sort of details if you need them. Uh, I'll give you a single report on the next over if I may. Back to you, sir. Yeah, Roger, all copy there, mate. Yeah, no, it's all right. I've got a, a camera video in me talking to you on the radio, if that's okay, and then I can put that into my log from the actual video footage. Yeah, the name here is Carl, and sit I'm situated, I'm parked up not far from Buxton, so in the Peak District, about 250 metres uh, up in the air, uh, and you're 5757 five here, and I'm, I'm putting out about 10 watts on a, uh, a mobile radio inside the car with the mag mount. Uh, back to you, mate. A YouTube fan. Should I? Should I promote the channel? Yes. Roger, uh, I'll copy there, mate. Um, yeah, uh, I'll put the video onto YouTube. Uh, I've got a uh, a small but very perfectly formed YouTube channel. Uh, just if you just do a search for Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, you'll see my beautiful face on there. But uh, yeah, lovely clear signal. Uh, five watts doing absolutely fantastic, and uh, you picked the right day for it. But it, it may turn later. Looking at the clouds, we're getting a bit of a formation going on here. Uh, back to you, mate. Yeah, um, thanks Carl. Uh, looking over in your direction, yeah, I can see some cumulus just coming in on the horizon, but uh, to be quite honest here, a little bit of white and fluffy cloud, but um, it's beautiful, sunny, um, very, very clear view of the horizon, so uh, if the weather forecasters got it right, we're not due anything serious until tomorrow afternoon, but we'll see, I've got, uh, I've got wet weather gear just in case, yes. um, so uh, <laughs> Yeah, two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Mobile returning. Okay then, mate. Yeah, cheers. Well, have a great day. Uh, I'm just trying to build a uh, DX Commander. I've brought all the wires with me. I'm just going to try and um, make the antenna uh, from the back of the car and put it in the air. So hopefully I'll try and get some contact. So have a great day, mate, and uh, lovely to make contact with you. So two Whiskey Zero in uh, Italy X-Ray Mike, was it uh, from two Zero EZT? ZT returning. Yeah, well, I'll leave it with you, mate, so you can get some more contacts in the log, and uh, I'll try and get this uh, piece of wire in the air. And uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try 10 meters and 20 meters, uh, and then uh, see if we can get any contacts. Uh, so yeah, cheers, mate. Have a great day, and uh, bid you 73 from 2 Mobile. Yeah, hold on, yourself, Carl. Catch you further down the log. 73, all the best. Two whiskey zero, India X-ray, Mike. Nice. On the A little bit of uh, gathering here. If these all come together, uh, somebody's going to get a blob of rain. But I'm going to try and get uh, the antenna in the air, get it, get it analysed, and hopefully try and make a contact on 
10 meters on the, uh, the new DX Ultra. The, um, the antenna that I've got, the very top section has broken on this. Uh, uh, this is one of the early sort of test versions of the Expedition. I think it's called the DX Ultra now. But um, the top section needs replacing. But for today's experiment, I don't think I'm going to need um, the full 10 meters. I should be able to work, I should be able to use this without the full lot. So I'm just going to build this up. I'm going to build it up, tape up some of these sections so they don't drop on me. Uh, and then sort of get the spreader on and then run the wire up, connect it, run the wire up, get the actual um, fold back, get up in the air, get the radials on, strap it to this uh, post here, then we'll see what happens. Right, I have got a conundrum because I am. Um, when this goes up to the, the second spreader I also just have a t-shirt that says I am not fishing I also have a t-shirt that says No, I'm not fishing No, I'm not a spy Right, okay, so my temporary plan at the moment is just to um, rig this up so that it goes to the top spreader um, and then it's coming back down again. But I don't think that's a, a one point, I don't think that's a, the fold back that we wanted. Okay. Oh, up to about 6.7 meters and then fold back. So that's not, we don't want to fold it back on the top spreader. Or the, the, the touch by that I've got here. Some people need to have some I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's in the air. Obviously, it's a bit. It's not a perfect. I just, just want to get the wire in the air so I can get the ra the radials on, and see if it actually if the wire's cut to the right length. Then get the wires cut in, and then I I do really need to get um, the guy 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 ropes cut for it. I mean I've got some, I mean, it's not windy, there's no wind blowing on, on that at all, or a very slight sway, so it's safe enough. But I wonder if I'll strap it to me, um, strap it to my car or not, I've got the uh, drive, over, uh, drive over mast. But we'll see, we'll, we'll just, we'll tune it in, see how we get on. Right, so I've Cut the radials, I think it was to 3.5 meters. Um, but what I have to do, because I actually cut the D10 wire as it was twisted, so uh, they may actually be a bit longer. Um, and then just untwist them so we can spread them out a bit. bending a bit that is but the uh, the base of it is well fastened around that very sturdy post so the only way that that could actually fall down is if somehow the um, the bungee cords don't hold that weight but I strapped I strapped kids to the roof of the car with those bungee ropes so that won't fall anywhere right no, I didn't, I didn't actually strap the kids to the roof of the car, so in case 
uh, anybody's picking up the phone now and reporting me. I've, I've never done that, but thought about it once or twice, but no, I haven't, I haven't actually done that. I um, I do I do enjoy working the radio from from home, nice and comfortable, cup of tea or anything like that. I do I do enjoy it, but there's something for me. There's something about actually getting outdoors and just trying to uh, either build an antenna, trying to just work in less than ideal conditions, and even just getting one contact. Which for me, which is in some in some ways is against the odds because I, I'm still learning the hobby and I'm actually, I, I do enjoy trying to test some of the basic theory that I've got around antennas and and whatnot, so. Right, um, this is what I mean about, because actually putting the antenna here, that bottom plate's being pushed up because of the actual mound there. Um, so, I mean, the, the, you've got you've got to prepare the antenna for uneven ground. I've actually put one guy rope down here to there because the actual antenna is leaning that way a little bit and the wind's blowing it that way. So I've just used a, uh, a hitch knot there so that I can tighten that up and it, and it will eventually just pull this night this way a little bit. So I'm going to get the uh, feed line in, take it to the car. Uh, I've got a analyzer in there. It's only a cheap Chinese one, and I'll analyze it. And then I'm hoping that it's somewhere near 10 meters, or else it's just got to come back down again. Uh, and then, well, we've got to work out just need lengthening, shortening, and then um, yeah, put it back up again. Okay, SWR is um, at. Uh, let's say about 450 is 1.33, 1.3, 1, 1, 2, 1 1.3 to 1 on the 28.450. So that SWR is pretty decent given that I've just um, threw it in the air. So that'll do me. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I've got uh, 5, 10. I've got about 30, 30 odd meters, 40 meters of uh, radials on the ground. So that, that should cover enough of the 10 meter band. Italy, Zulu 2, Delta, Lima, Victoria, Denmark, London, Venice, 5 and 9. Bravo, Italy, Florida. Right, okay, um, getting some stations in, um, I'm just going to get a cup of tea down me, I'm going to just try and find some food in my bag and uh, see if I can just make a contact. I need to try and tidy up as well, everywhere is a bit of a mess. Uh, so I'll tidy up because um, I just can't have this mess around me, uh, get a cup of tea down me. Uh, I'll check my ration pack, see what's in that for um, a snack and then uh, hopefully try and make uh, some contacts. The, I brought with me the um, Zegu 108G, the outdoor radio that when you take it outdoors you can't actually see the screen. So you're completely blind when you're in anywhere near the outdoors on it. So. I really don't know how they can actually attach on this idea that a radio is it can be used outdoors when it's not waterproof, not dustproof, and you can't actually see the screen. I mean, it's a decent radio for the price, but I want one, one classes is outdoor. Uh, today's meal is I can see that uh, Mexican chicken stew. Uh, I may have that, but I may just tear it open and get the snack out of it. Right. That's the package that is. I'll um, see what we've got there. 300 baht hit with a small amplifier. 3,000 words. And um, the antenna is an 8 kilometers long. Uh, it's a lot for the yarding. I'm quite a lot. The night here, um, strong wind, 
and uh, showers. And now, now it's cloudy, still cloudy, but no rain for the moment. I think that the weather will shake today. Uh, uh, just before I go, I'll tell you, I've uh, got lots of the, uh, the location here. It's in India, Oscar 9, 3, Fox Radio, I'm about... Hello, CQ10, CQ, CQ10, Italy, NLC3, Zulu, NLC Radio, CQ10, over. 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Ocean Hotel 1, uh, November, Julia November, is it 3, Zulu November Radio, over. Uh, cheddar cheese crackers, um, cheese spread with jalapenos, um, Nutritious energy bar, um, crackers for the cheese spread, lovely. Um, I've got the heat, I've got a bag in there for cooking with, um, and uh, chewing gum and whatnot in there. So I think we're going to have a cheese spread, um, and I've got a mixed fruit sort of pie there, I think, for warming up. So I'm just going to have the um, Spread with the um, crackers and the chicken chuck cheese crackers and a cup of tea. Everything okay, just all on November radio. Hey, hey. These are nice. Chicken cheese crackers. Mmm. Love it. Yeah, this is 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango Portable. I got it. The 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango. Calling in, you are five and five, not very strong. Um, moving, turning the antenna to your direction, and up to catch you better. Your next here, the handle is Fab, Florida, America, Bravo, Fox, America, Boston, and I'm not far from Austrian borders, not a part of Italy here. Uh, on uh, top of uh, uh, mountains here, uh, at uh, 1,000 meters above the sea level. So back to you, how did you come here on England? It's oh, Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, so it's portable, India November 3, Zulu November Radio. Yeah, Roger, Roger there, Fab. The name here is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima. <coughs> Sorry. And you are 5757, and I'm uh, in high ground in the UK, a portable station on high ground using 20 watts, 20 watts into a wire vertical antenna, uh, QSL. Yeah. Okay, 20 watt into vertical antenna, Charlie QSO. Thank you, running here, transceiver Helicraft K3, and uh, uh, the antenna is 8 element log, 8 element uh, uh, at about 16 meters, 16 meters uh, over the ground here. Uh, now beaming to your direction. Thank you for short contact, enjoy your portable activity, and uh, up to catch you later on the frequency. Um, 10 or rather, uh, bye for now and 73. Uh, to Echo Zero, Echo Zero Tango says portable India November 3, Zulu November Radio. Bye bye for now, take care. Yeah, thank you very much there, Fab. Have a great day and love to, uh, looking forward to uh, speaking to you next time. So, 73. 73, he was at Italy in NC3. I nearly, um, I nearly told Fab that I loved him then. <clears throat> I meant, uh, I look forward to. Uh, Catch you next time. I think I said love, but never mind. I was so happy to get the contact. Oh, it must be the cheese. The cheese crackers are getting to me head, I think. So uh, I'll get some food down me, and I'm trying to tidy up as I'm as I'm trying to make contacts. Hello. No, I'm not fishing. Um, I'm trying to eat crackers, tidy up, and make contact at the same time from the boot of the car. It's uh, a little bit of a. It's a little bit messy, but it's working and uh, enjoying a cup of tea as well. Yeah, two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Portable, portable. Did there is a tango in there? You're right on the ragged edge, just barely perceptible <laughs> in the noise. Uh, thanks for calling anyway. My, my name is Ken, Kilo Echo Nuts. Yeah, Roger, Roger there, Ken. 
the uh, suffix is Echo Zulu Tango. Echo Zulu Tango. Portable near Buxton, Buxton, Buxton. QSL. Okay, uh, uh, two Echoes of Tango Zulu Tango Portable, is that correct? <laughs> Echo Zulu Tango, Echo Zulu Tango. I'm still not sure if oh. I'm doing right. Okay. But uh, thanks for your patience. Do I have your call sign correct? Two echoes there of Tango Zulu Tango. Negative, negative, negative. Echo, echo, echo Zulu Tango. Echo Zulu Tango. QSL? Okay, is it, is it Echo Zulu Tango? Is that correct? Roger, Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, uh, thanks for your patience. <laughs> Yes. Uh, very, very marginal, but uh, <laughs> thank you for your patience. Yeah, thank you very much. Seven three, seven three. Uh, seven three. <laughs> Ace. Gate one, two stations come in with the QSB and fade out. So we should just keep um, scanning the band, picking up the stations as they get stronger. It's working. It's not the most tardy thing I've done. Not nothing I've done on the radio is tardy, but gets the job done. It'd be nice to get the um, 20 meters up. Because the 20 meters, I reckon I can um, use that top spreader and then get the 20 meter actually connected to the top spreader so we can get 20 and 10. I wonder if this, um, this 5 8 10 meters um, wire will tune on um, 40 meters. I'll try that in a bit. Because on the um, Sorry, how rude of me. On the um, on my DX Commander light at home, I run a 40 metre wire that goes up, it's linear loaded, so it goes up and comes down. And that also tunes in on 10 metres, and it acts as a 5 h wave on 10 metres. So if I've created a 5 h wave on this, it might even tune in on 40. Give it a go. No. So it is actually a perfect SWR on uh, 30 meters. <clears throat> so the 5H wave for 10 meters uh, tunes in on 10.1 um, uh, with a, an SWR of 1.1 1. 1. 1. 1 to 1. So uh, I've got two bands there. Uh, I've got. Um, 30 meters and 10 meters uh, I'm just gonna have a scan round uh, I mean you could you could actually say you could try and squeeze a tune in on meh, meh. No, okay let me just go to 12 meters um, 12 meters it's at 3.8 on 12 um, uh, on 10 meters, 11 meters on, um, you can get it on 11, and tw obviously on, um, so if I go to 6 meters, um, and it's at 4.2 um, on um, 6 meters, uh, whether it would actually be any good at um, tuning in and, and getting any contacts on is another thing. Um, okay, well that's interesting. Got Croatia coming in now. Right. It can, I'm just like, it's that continuous tidying up every time you get something out. You have to try and put it away or else a small boot like this gets absolutely messy as anything. 
Okay. Um. Right, I'm going. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Uh, no. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to uh, start putting the, most of the gear away. Uh, I'll take down the antenna in a minute. Um, I've had a good couple of hours out, made a, a, a small handful of contacts, which I'm quite happy with on 10 meters today. Um, got a chap here from uh, Croatia, keeps coming in with the QSB. So I'm going to try and get him, but he fades so much that I lose him. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Uh, he's got a bunch of stations after him now. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to start packing up, um, get the antenna down, uh, get it uh, packed away in a way where I can easily get it back up in the air again. So um, lessons learned. Um, I I do need to use a Jubilee clip because of the actual top spreader actually without the Jubilee clip just goes all the way down till it hits. Uh, a section that stops it but that's too low for me so I'll use a Jubilee clip a bit further up and keep it higher up so I can get the um, fall back on this 10 meter and I reckon then that when I cut a 20 meter a Y for 20 meters I'll, I'll use some of the uh, cord and clip that up hopefully get it just the right length so when it clips up that's nice and taut so that gives me um, 30 20 and 10 um, and then I may just I may just put up a, another wire for 70 meters. Then, then it gives me a little bit of the um, the sort of higher bands that uh, will start to work a little bit better when we get one or two sunspots in the near future. Uh, but for the moment, uh, 10 meters, I'm getting a bit of the um, summertime uh, sporadic E. Uh, so that that's made me happy. Uh, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up that's really helpful to uh, to know that I'm doing the right thing uh, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please can you hit that subscribe button that really helps me as well to to know that actually I'm building videos recording videos that people are finding useful and uh, I look forward to the next video so uh, bye bye for now